Hello and welcome to my Blender video tutorial. In this video tutorial I'll be teaching you how to do green screening in Blender's compositor. As you can see here's the final result that we'll be creating. This is going to be a short tutorial. Um, so let's begin. We first need a green screen plate. So you can get one from Hollywood Camera Work and I'll put a link to it in the description and to get, get one of these keen plates um, so there's a few but I'm going to be using this one uh, you can just download it but only download stuff you need so after you've downloaded that just unzip it if it's in a zip and then fire up Blender so in Blender go control left arrow to go to compositor layout as you can see here make sure you're in the compositing nodes mode here and tick use nodes and for those of you who are wondering my screencast keys are just in the corner there right there they haven't disappeared in the 3d view so left click on a node and drag it um, go click is to select left click is to select in the compositor so go and select a render layer and press X to delete now go shift A to add input movie clip and drag that image into there with left click go open and then just go to your image sequence in this Hollywood thing it's an image sequence from Hollywood camera work so don't worry just hover over an image and press A to select all and click open clip now let's go and do some keying to get rid of that green background but before we do that let's get the resolution and all of that sorted so change the resolution to 960 by 720 um, well that's my resolution you can get your resolution here by the tech specs and it's 60 frames per second mine so let me just change under frame rate here 60 frames and then just change this percentage to 100 now if you hit render F12 you can see that it's the right, uh, the right resolution so now go hover over the compositor go shift A mat keying add a keying node and drag it in between if you drag it on the line it turns orange let go and it will plug in the image now if we go and middle mouse hold it down and go scroll along here to render RGB with alpha transparency you see it's the alpha is all wrong and the reason being that the key color is not correct so go and select the key color go to color picker and go and select green in the background if we go to just RGB you'll see it's brown now and also just plug this mat into the alpha here and now go view alpha with transparency and you'll see that it's brown there and that means it's not transparent okay and just double check plug the mat in the image now that's transparent white means no transparency at all and this in between means semi transparent now you can see there it's not transparent there so to fix that you get a better view here you can see it's not transparent all the way there to get to fix that go sorry to go and darken the color until that background turns totally black like that that's perfect and now you can see we have it black so now if we go and drag this image in there and change to alpha transparency mode you'll see it's transparent so now let's go and shift a input 
add in an image as the background. You can add in anything you want, render layer, movie clip, stuff like that. And go and hit click open. Now go to your background and just open it. Now my problem with my background is it's 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 nineteen twenty by ten eighty and this is not this is nine sixty by seven twenty. To fix that we're just gonna add the stored scale node and drag this image in there and just change this to render size and crop. Now we need to mix these so that that's on top of this. So to do that, shift A, go to color, go to mix. Just drag this image into the bottom and this image into the top. And then take the mat and drag it into the fac value. Now just drag this image in there and then just unplug that mat from the alpha there. And we have the final result. So if you are having some difficulty uh, with this green over here and you, you start ruining the cloak and stuff, you can use, or, or actually, also, if you have a, like fans and stuff, sometimes there's fans in the way in the green screen. To do that you just go shift A mat and you can use a box or ellipse mask and then as you can see you can change rotation just change that to subtract 1 and you just plug it in this mat over here so like you would do it like this and plug it in like that and there you can see it subtracts from the top layer and then you can just move it and scale it and stuff like that but I don't need to in this tutorial but if you ever have uneven green screens and stuff like that that might be necessary so so another thing just make sure that during the whole animation that your mask you put on isn't going the animation isn't going to go over it so just make sure of that and then if you want to render animation, just change the end to the number of frames that your green screen is. Um, mine was 349. And then also render it in PNG image first, and then render it in the movie. I recommend. And that's all you need to do. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And see you next time. Bye.